Hi everybody. Welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed. And uh, I'd bet a dollar that when we were all kids, we all had multi-pump air guns. I know I did. The Daisy 880, Crossman 1377, those were my first two. Many, many more followed. And I couldn't even guess how many thousands of shots I've taken with a multi-pump air gun. Perhaps that's why I still have a soft spot in my shriveled black heart for a multi-pump air gun. Judging by the amount of multi-pump air guns we both repair or sell here at Baker Air Guns, I'd have to say I'm not alone in this. Leave it to Crossman to introduce a new multi-pump air gun here in 2022. This is the Crossman 362. It has a fantastic price, fantastic features, fantastic performance, and it is highly modifiable with parts you can get right here from Baker Air Guns. Stay tuned for this one. The first thing I want to tell you about the new Crossman 362 is that it is a very powerful multi-pump air gun. Using the JSB 15.89 grain pellets and the maximum of eight pumps in the gun, you can expect an average velocity of about 610 feet per second for a smidge over 13 foot pounds. Uh, that is some pretty good power out of a multi pump. Now, I uh, did this testing with the JSB 15.89 grain because it was the most accurate pellet for me. But I did some testing with the 14.3 grain Crossman Premier hollow points as well. So we'll get more into that later. So this 13 foot pounds is plenty to hunt just about any small game you want at reasonable distance. But it is possible to make this gun more powerful. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit as well. The 362 here utilizes a synthetic stock with some texturing on the foregrip and a little bit of something here on the rear grip. These feel pretty nice, but what feels really nice is how lightweight this is. This gun's like five pounds. This stock feels good. You can carry this forever and never even notice it. And it's very comfy with the open sights, and you'll find that the open sights are very familiar. They're the same ones used on the Crossman 2240, or the 13XX, you know, 77 or 22, uh, those same series. This is actually the same plastic breech that's used on those guns. And that does mean, yes, you can replace this plastic breech with our Baker Air Guns aluminum breech, which allows you to add a scope. You can also get the cocking on either side. The trigger on the 362 is more similar to the ones on the Benjamin Discovery and Maximus than it is to the 13XX or 22XX series. Uh, this one pulled at a little over four pounds, which is a little bit less than the advertised five. Uh, the character of the trigger is what you expect from a Crossman product. It's not great, but for the price, it's very usable. And I don't think you'd have too many complaints about it. Now the accuracy, the accuracy from the 362 is quite impressive. I actually tested two guns for accuracy. I used this one, a bone stock out of the box, 362. And I also used a highly modified version. And this is that highly modified version. There's a lot going on here. We have our Baker Air Guns aluminum breech with the cocking on the left side of the gun. You can get this with right-handed or left-handed caulking. We have a 24-inch rifled steel Crossman barrel with a TKO moderator. Uh, you do lose the front sight when you add this moderator or the 24-inch barrel. And we have our Crossman MaxFlow 362 valve in here. Now, again, more on these modifications later, but they add some serious serious power to this gun. Naturally, 
for the accuracy testing with the highly modified gun, I used the 3 to 9 True Hunter UTG scope that's mounted to it. For the stock version, I use the peep sight rear. I do prefer that. Have a look at these clips of the gun being tested both stock and modified. with or without the scope, modified or bone stock. That's some pretty deadly accuracy out of the $100 base gun 362. Now, as we've been talking about, a lot of the allure of this new 362 is that yes, you can take it right out of the box and get some good accuracy out of it some decent power out of it, and you can do a lot with it. And a hundred bucks, that's a steal. However, just like it's 22XX and 13XX Brethren, this is a highly modifiable platform. Let, let, let's talk about power, first and foremost. Forget all the luxuries, let's just talk about power. Crossman tells you to pump this gun eight times. Our Baker Air Guns Max Flow for 362 valve allows you to pump this gun 10 times. And that's safely. There's no residual air and you're not taxing the valve system in the gun. And our valve actually is a little bit bigger inside. So the end result is if you take the Max Flow for Crossman 362 valve and put it in a stock 362 using the 14.3 grain Crossman Premier domed pellets, you will get an increase of 60 feet per second. 60 feet per second. That is substantial when you're talking about 600 and something to start with. That's a 10% increase in power in speed. It's actually more than a 10% increase in power. It's a 10% increase in velocity. That's impressive. However, you can also add this 24 inch barrel. And if you add the valve and the barrel, you get an average of 75 feet per second extra. Actually, I saw more like 77 and even 80, but uh, it's safe to say 75 feet per second by putting in the valve and putting on a barrel. Now let's not even forget here, you can mount a scope to this. You can get the caulking on the left side using our Baker Air Guns breech, which obviously does work with either barrel, the stock barrel or this 24 inch barrel. You can also make this thing nearly silent with a TKO moderator. One of the best upgrades you could do to this rifle. The trigger, unfortunately, we don't have a product here at Baker Air Guns for the trigger. Uh, we may or may not in the future. I'll let you know if we do. However, if you know what you're doing or you have access to a professional, you can make the triggers in these better as well. Any way you look at it, the new 362 is a winner in my book. Bone stock, it's a beautiful, wonderful gun for a hundred bucks. That's a good deal. So far as power per dollar, that's probably one of the better options available. It's a multi-pump. It's reliable. You don't need an air source. It's an easy grab it and go. You take this, you take your ammo, you go. Simple as could be. And the accuracy you get out of this is spectacular. Obviously, you're going to wring the most out of it using a scope, but even with the open sights, it is definitely hunting accurate, especially at its price. 
I would highly recommend adding a 362 to your collection. But if you want the most out of it, I'd add some of our Baker Air Guns upgrades to the gun as well. We have all of this stuff in stock here at Baker Air Guns. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment. We would appreciate that. And you guys stay tuned, stay safe, and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.